Hey there, today I'm gonna to be talking about website sales pages. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with Automation Links and it's vital that you have a sales page in your website. Now most people, when they go to a website, they get lost. They're sent a ton of information and then they never end up signing up because they're just lost, they don't have a clear path and they don't know what's next. That's why you need to create and set up your website just like a sales page. Now I don't mean you need to go make something different, a different thing on a different software. Use your website as your sales page and you're gonna get more signups and increase customers and conversions right away. So tip number one is setting up a clear path. So a clear path for the client so the client knows where to go and where they're gonna end up. So when somebody hits the site, you don't want them looking at all your menu items across the top. That's just too many. You want them seeing a button, start here, get started here, learn more, enroll, um, different things that are showing them where they should go next buttons, forms that are inside of your site, and uh, pop-ups, something so they know exactly, okay, this is where I should get started. And if you can give that clear message, tell them where they should go next, they'll follow those actions. And then once they follow those actions, they'll be led into the sales funnel, which gets you a sign up and a potential new customer. All right, tip number two, gives you more insight. So now when they're on your page and they're filling out these forms, it's not just name, email, and send me a message. It's actually asking them what they want and what they're interested in. So most of the customers with automation links, when they get a new inquiry from their website, they already know exactly what that client is looking for and what they need. So it tells them what services they're interested in, what they need help with, and then that business owner, you, you're gonna know exactly how to follow up with that person. And so that's where I want to encourage you guys. If you need help with this or need those forms, reach out to us, automationlinks.com forward slash start. And if you're watching this, post that in the comments, and that's a great place for you to check out our multiple choice forms. All right, tip number three, easy to purchase. Now, most of the times, if I went to your website right now, I wouldn't even be able to go buy something. Go to your website, see how fast it takes you to go buy something from it. You need to have an easy path to purchase. So the person goes to your website, you give them the clear map, they sign up, they tell you what they're interested in, and then just send them to your pricing page. So if they are ready to buy and they're already a potential customer, they can just hit the checkout button. So if you don't have that already, make sure you get that set up and put it in your sales funnel. All right, tip number four, answers all objections. So when a customer comes to your site, FAQ sections, uh, talking about the pain points that they're going through, you need to answer their objections before they even get to the sign-up process. If I came to your website and I thought to myself, wow, this person knows exactly what I'm going through, they know exactly what's going to help to fix it, I'm definitely signing up with them. Does your website do that? Are you an answering objections and FAQ questions so when that person comes to the site, they know exactly how you're going to help and what to expect next. So if you guys don't have any of this set up or if you need help with a website sales page, that's what we do, automationlinks.com forward slash start. Why don't you go check out that multiple choice form, see what it's like. Once somebody fills it out, I know exactly what they need and how I can help. So how are you gonna incorporate this into your business? Are you gonna think about it and sit on it for the next month or two, or maybe even year? Are you gonna go take action today? Get this stuff set up so you can start growing your business. And if you're not interested in growing your business, that's fine, but if you are, you definitely need to follow these steps print off this sheet and start using it on a day-to-day -day basis. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day.